You know, life is full of mistakes, missteps and disappointment. And it's up to us parents to teach our kids the best way to handle it. We're talking about having an awesome attitude and coffee group today with parenting advisors John Cowan and Jenny Hale. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Firstly, Jenny, let's start with you. What's important? What's so important about having a good attitude? Well, if you have a good attitude, which is really a flexible attitude, it means that when life's inevitable struggles and disappointments and when things don't go right, you can handle it. Yes, and we all need to do that right into adulthood, don't we? We do. So, John, how will our kids' attitude help them in life, do you think? It'll help them more than good brains and good looks. <laughs> I mean, uh, as they go through life, they hit problems, they go, right, I can fix that. That's an awesome attitude that will set them up for success in their careers, their relationships. Mm. All sorts of things, so it's the key thing. They don't just sit back and go, oh, it's too hard now, I can't do this because yeah. this has all happened and now it's, so that's out of my control. They take yeah. control a bit more. That's right, a bit of resilience and bounce when things go wrong. Okay, so Judy, give us an example. What's the wrong thing to do when our child <laughs> makes a mistake? Well, I think blaming them, saying, for goodness sake, clear out of here while I sort it out. Um, when we take over or we lecture them, we give, we give them the sense of, you can't do this, you're a mistake, or you're not a problem solver. That's the wrong thing to do, because they don't learn that every problem that comes their way is actually an invitation to do something different. So mm. we're not, we don't teach them flexibility. What sort of mistake? We're talking big mistakes? Any, any kind of mistake? Oh, lots of little things. Look, it might be the, the pot plant they knocked over. It might be the Again. Again, Again it, <laughs> might, it might be they forgot something, you know, they didn't bring something they needed to school. It's happening every day. There are opportunities for children to be given another chance to fix it or do it a different way. Okay, so, so a small example, lunches. You've forgotten to take their lunch for the, for the third time that week. How would you deal with that? Well, depending on their age. If they're five, I'd probably bring it up to school. Yeah. Um, if they're 15, I think, sorry, you might just need to go hungry today. And yep. the, the feedback you get is that, mum or dad aren't always going to be there to pick up uh, the pieces and that you're going to learn from this. We're okay. not going to rescue you. So we don't just step in all the time, which as parents we are tempted to, to do when we're, we're very good at a bit it. rushed. Yeah, give them ownership of their problems. Okay, so how do we model having an awesome attitude then, John? Well, one of the things is the, the things they hear say, us saying about ourselves when we, when we stuff up mm. and make mistakes and a relationship with our special other, the way that we um, cut a bit of slack to each other when we make mistakes. So the ability to forgive ourselves, to regroup and get on with it and not beating ourselves up in front of them, that's a, that's a key example. But we should own that mistake, shouldn't we? If we Absolutely, make them yeah. Different. Not looking for an excuse, someone to blame, telling a lie, mm. but own it and fix it. Jenny, what about you? Yeah, I think our model is enormous. So they're going to what children are going to look at, how do my mum or dad or, or a special person, how do they fix a problem? What do they do when things go wrong? If they see us model flexibility and, oh, this is a problem, I wonder which way we could get through this, that will give them the ability to start modelling it as well. So it's all about really giving them the confidence to fix their own mistakes. Yeah, and that means sitting back sometimes and thinking, I'm not actually going to get involved. I might just go to the other room and say, here's the cloth, you wipe it down, I'll come and check you in a minute. Mm. And you know that kids don't do it well. They don't fix problems well to begin with, so you actually need to give them a chance first. And they're not always... Look, I had to stop myself always wiping the bench down after my kids had done it because I thought actually that just teaches them that I don't trust them to do a good job. So you sort of have to wait your time before they've gone and then you can come and wipe the bench down. <laughs> so have them doing something because that's exactly what we get in our house too. They wipe the bench after dinner and it's like there's nothing wiped off that bench. <laughs> yeah. Or it just gets all wiped onto the floor. So don't hurry around after them. Yeah, for things mm -hmm. worth doing, it's worth doing badly at the start. <laughs> don't don't demoralise them. Well sometimes I think though that, that, that children can think if they do a job, this is what I think might have caught on to, they do a job badly oh, enough yeah. that they'll get out of doing that job. Yeah, we won't be asked again because mum won't like the way we do it. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's quite great clever. research mm. they're doing. It is quite <laughs> re research, isn't it? Um, so what could every parent do then to give our children a bit of a better attitude? What's the steps that we need to make, John? When they make a mistake, go, oh dear, you've got a mistake here, or you've got made a made a mess, and you give them ownership of it, and but then you let them know that you believe they can fix it. You're yeah. a clever kid, here's a sponge, mm -hmm. here's a mop, I'll come back and check how you're doing. And uh, that gives them the idea that you're not angry, mistakes aren't lethal, you can fix this, and mm. then you let them have a crack at it, even if you have to follow up afterwards. That's true. And Jenny? Yeah, I think that same thing. Second, third, fourth chances, give children another go at it. Um, so that they are learning to be problem solvers. Okay, so we need to be patient as parents. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Always enlightening having you both on the show. 